What's up everybody, my name is Cedric and today we'll be checking out a cool power bank that has a lot of interesting features. Of course, I will link this down in the description for you guys to check out if you're interested. As well as, I'll have timestamps in this video so you can skip to the parts that you find most interesting. So without any further ado, let's start unboxing this guy. As with all power banks, the main purpose of them is to keep your devices juiced up even when you're on the go. Unlike a traditional power brick that you would plug into a wall outlet, this is a lot more practical because you can throw it in your backpack and have it charging while you're traveling or running errands. Probably won't fit in your pocket all that well, but it's still fairly portable. So as you guys can see, inside the box, we have the power bank in this plastic sleeve, as well as a cable right beside it. The power bank itself is very well designed with multiple ports, as well as a few other key features, which we'll talk about in a little while. But when it comes to the overall build quality, there's nothing special, a lot of plastic throughout the power bank, and it is really chunky weighing in at 350 grams. The height of this power bank is somewhat comparable to a 6.1 inch iPhone. Also, we get the usual user manual, which we'll put aside. Now the cable that we have here is a USB to micro USB charging cable, but it does not come with the charging adapter, which is something to note. All right, after about a month of using this, the three major benefits that I feel came along with this power bank is number one, and the coolest benefit is that it's solar powered. And obviously the beauty of solar energy is that all the light that this power bank can absorb then turns into electrical power, which gives us users a second method to charge this power bank, rather than just plugging it in using the cable that's provided. This isn't the way that Fochu, which was a seller on Amazon, recommends charging this device though, and I can see why. It's a lot slower, I've tested this out, and it's clearly not that efficient. I think the reason for this inefficiency is due to the solar panel conversion rate. Basically, only a limited amount of solar energy will be converted into usable energy, and so it brings us back to reason number one, slower charge speeds. Now, if you can, and if you have great weather outside, leaving this portable power bank inside your car while going out to get some groceries wouldn't be too bad of an idea. That's probably the type of scenario this feature would be most useful in. But other than that, using the micro USB cable that you get in the box is probably your best bet. Moving on to the second benefit, it's the sheer capacity this guy holds. This power bank has a massive 26,800 milliamp hour battery. The company claims that this power bank can charge an iPhone X up to 6 or 7 times and a Galaxy S10 up to 5 or 6 times. I haven't tested out how long this power bank lasts but I've charged up my iPhone XR three to four times and I still haven't needed to plug it in. So needless to say, it'll last you more than a few days for sure. When it comes to the charging speeds though, I couldn't find any info on the wattage. It seems like five volts, 2.1 amps for input and five volts, one amp and 2.1 amps for output. But after doing a quick conversion from volts, amps to watts, it seems like five and 10 watts for output and 10 watts for input. Moving on, you can find the approximate battery level of the power bank through the four LED indicators. Basically, once you turn the power bank on using the power indicator switch on the side, you will be presented with a flickering LED light one if the battery is anywhere from zero to 25%. If it's between 25 to 50%, LED one will be solid and LED two will flicker. And this pattern continues until you hit 75 to 100% when all four LED lights will be solid. The third main benefit that you're gonna get while using this power bank is with the ports. It's got four ports, two USB A's, one USB C, and one micro USB port. Now, even though there are four ports, the USB A ports are the only output ports that you can use to charge your devices, whether it's a phone or tablet or whatever that supports USB A. The micro USB and USB C ports are only for input. And because there are two USB A ports, it gives you that flexibility to charge more than one device at a time, which once again is useful if you're on the go or if you're in a hurry. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. This was the unboxing and review of this solar battery power bank, as well as the three major benefits that come along with it. It's fairly cheap, and I think it's a must for everybody to pick up if you're regularly on the go. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.